What's up everybody, welcome back to another video here at my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel as well as join our Discord that will be coming out very shortly. But if we get right into today's video, you can see I'm going to be talking about a company known as ePass Software Solutions. And for those of you who don't know, they do specialize in enterprise cryptocurrency blockchain mobile apps and cloud business process software with over 500 repeat customers. And what's so interesting about this company, guys, is they do have a lot of unique aspects that I think are pretty promising in emerging industries that I'll be getting into later in this video. If we take a look over here briefly at the chart, you can see this is the one-day chart here on a Webull desktop. The current price is just one penny. They did see a huge explosion uh, over here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this section. You can see this was pretty recent. Uh, they, we did see a surge in volume as indicated by these bars back here that followed the price. And we shot all the way up to about three cents, 0.365 cents up here at this peak on the top of this candlestick. And this was about nine, 10 days ago on January 13th of 2022. And since then they have cooled off. And partly, guys, the part of the reason this uh, for this pullback, other than the fact that it was just a huge surge, it's because the entire market has been crashing. Cryptocurrency, stocks, everything, every kind of investment has seen some sort of pullback as of late, and uh, EPAS is no exception to that. So I do think that's part of the reason we saw this little bit of a downtrend right there. If we zoom out to get the bigger picture, guys, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out really far and slide this over. You can see uh, they have been much, much higher in the past. We did see a huge explosion back here all the way up to 15 cents and this was on august 12th of 2020 a lot of stocks did see their highs around that time in august they pulled back ever since then they have had these spikes you can see kind of a spike here spikes here and a spike here kind of a triple top ascending uh, channel pattern there but ever since then they have cooled off they have retreated to some pretty uh pretty attractive prices in terms of getting in to this company for an investment personally in my opinion guys i am a buyer right here they have shown uh, support off of this level in the past at about one cent i really do think that this is a good time to scoop up some shares of their common stock with them being down and uh, the entire market being down as a whole if we take a look at some of the recent news with them guys you can see epaz holdings Zenapay bitcoin wallet with credit slash debit cards is launching in early 2022 and this did come out about a month ago on december 21st of 2021 if we take a look at this news you can see they announced uh, that their Zenapay blockchain Bitcoin wallet will include cr uh, credit and debit cards to their user wallet. And the user will be able to store both fiat, uh, fiat currency and cryptocurrency on that app. And I think that's absolutely huge. As you can see, uh, as stated by this article, this will be a major upgrade to the Zenapay wallet. And they are providing additional support to new cryptocurrencies and looking towards gasless transactions and providing easier transfer to, tradi to traditional bank accounts. And this is a very important part of that, guys. Gasless transactions. If any of you guys have bought NFTs or gotten into some cryptocurrencies, you've had to use uh, Ethereum, which does have very high gas uh, gas fees or gas prices, and those prices do kind of uh, fluctuate with uh, based on the demand of the network. So if they are working towards gasless transactions, I think that's absolutely huge, and a ton of users will flood in because that's something uh, that's really exciting in terms of having that on their own app. If you take a look at this news article as well, and this is from December second of twenty twenty one. Uh, EPAS, uh, e excuse me, Cryobo will launch non fungible tokens, NFTs, uh, an NFT marketplace for real estate deals early next year. If we scroll down here as well as you can see, they use NFTs that are linked with real assets to provide liquidity to token holders and help real estate developers raise capital for their projects. If you guys have been following the NFT market or even the cryptocurrency market, you can see that they're all at all time highs in terms of users in terms of transactions and money being spent on on items bought and sold and things like that so the nft market is booming and the fact that they're both they're getting more into crypto and nfts is something that it's really exciting for me as a potential investor in this company so if we take a final look back at this chart like i said guys i think this is a good buy right here the rsi is relatively neutral sitting about 46.45 you can see they are uh this macd down here is kind of indicating a downtrend so i think they could have a slight bit of a more pullback all the way down to about uh, 0 0.0096. I think that's the lowest that they're going to go, especially given the fact that they have had all this promising and bullish news come out in the past few weeks, in the past few months. So right here, guys, I am a buyer in EPAS, ticker symbol EPAZ. I do think that they are a solid and strong company going forward. I think you should do your own research before investing. But if you do see the same things that I do, I think that EPAS could be 
a very lucrative investment. But with that said, guys, that's about it for this video. If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. And like I said, we will have that Discord link and server out in the next few days. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys for so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.